Have you ever thought about immigrating to Alberta, Canada? Alberta, the land of breathtaking landscapes, vibrant cities, and a welcoming multicultural society, is not just a place, it's a feeling. It's a place where you can chase your dreams and create a beautiful life for yourself and your family. Now let's talk about the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. This is a golden opportunity for those who wish to call Alberta their new home. This program is part of the Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program, AINP, designed to attract talented and skilled individuals from around the globe. It's not just about filling a job. It's about contributing to Alberta's growing economy and diverse society. Whether you're a skilled worker, an international graduate, or an entrepreneur, the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program could be your ticket to a new life in Canada. So, are you ready to embark on this journey? Let's now delve into the step-by-step -step process of applying for the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. Before you start packing your bags, check if you are eligible for the program. So, what exactly are the eligibility criteria for the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program 2024? Let's dive into the details. First off, you need to have a job offer from an Alberta employer. The job must be full-time, permanent, and meet Alberta's employment and wage standards. This is a critical requirement, as your opportunity to settle in Alberta hinges on your ability to contribute to the province's economy. Secondly, you must have a minimum of 12 months of full-time work experience in your occupation within the last 18 months. The experience can be gained either in Canada or overseas. Essentially, Alberta wants to make sure you have the skills and experience necessary to succeed in your job. Next, you need to have a Canadian high school diploma or equivalent foreign credential. This is to ensure that you have the basic educational qualifications required to thrive in the Canadian job market. In addition, you need to demonstrate language proficiency in either English or French. The minimum requirement is a Canadian Language Benchmark CLB score of 5. Proficiency in one of Canada's official languages is important for your integration into Canadian society and the workplace. Lastly, you'll need to show that you have enough money to support yourself and your family when you first arrive in Alberta. The exact amount will depend on the size of your family. This is to ensure that you can get settled without financial stress. Each of these criteria is important and missing even one could result in your application being denied. So make sure you meet all of them to increase your chances of acceptance. And remember, these are just the basic eligibility criteria. There may be additional requirements depending on your situation, so it's always a good idea to do your own research or consult with an immigration professional. Now that we have clarity on the eligibility, let's move on to the application process. The application process is quite simple and straightforward. Now let's delve into the initial steps of the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. Firstly, you'll need to create an online profile. This is your gateway into the program. Here you'll provide some basic information about yourself such as your name, age, and contact details. You'll also answer some initial questions about your professional background, education, and language skills. Remember, honesty is key. The information you provide will help the authorities assess your eligibility. Once your profile is complete, it's time to submit an expression of interest, or EOI. This isn't an application in itself, but rather an indication that you're interested in immigrating to Alberta. It's a bit like raising your hand in a crowded room, saying, hey, I'm here and I'm interested. Your EOI will be ranked based on a point system. The points are awarded based on various factors, such as your age, work experience, language proficiency, and educational qualifications. The higher your points, the better your chances of receiving an invitation to apply. Now you might be wondering, what's this invitation to apply? Well, it's essentially an official nod from the Alberta authorities inviting you to submit a full application. It's like getting a golden ticket to the next stage of the process. But remember, not everyone who submits an EOI will receive an invitation. That's why it's crucial to make your profile as strong as possible. Once you receive an invitation, you'll have a limited time to submit your full application. This is where things get real. You'll need to provide detailed information about your qualifications, work experience, and other relevant aspects. You'll also need to submit certain documents to support your application. To sum up, the initial steps are all about getting your foot in the door. It's about creating a compelling profile, expressing your interest, and then waiting for that golden invitation. 
We've covered the initial steps of the application process. Let's now move on to the next stages. Great progress so far, let's continue with the application process. Now that you've understood the initial steps, let's dive into the later stages of applying for the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. After you've successfully submitted your profile online, you'll have to wait to receive an invitation to apply, also known as an ITA. The waiting period can vary, so it's important to remain patient during this time. The Alberta Advantage Immigration Program uses a Comprehensive Ranking System, or CRS, to evaluate and score profiles. If your profile is selected, you'll be sent an ITA. This is your ticket to the next phase of the process. Once you receive your ITA, you're on to the next step. Submitting your final application. This is where you'll need to provide more detailed information and submit all the necessary documents. Remember, every detail counts. So make sure you've double-checked everything before hitting that Submit button. You'll also need to pay the processing fee at this stage. Next, you'll need to undergo a medical exam and provide police clearance certificates. These are crucial steps to ensure you meet the health and security requirements of the program. Their authorities will provide you with detailed instructions on how to proceed with these. After everything is submitted and the fees are paid, your application will be reviewed. This is another waiting period, but don't worry. The Alberta Advantage Immigration Program is known for its efficient processing times. Finally, if your application is approved, you'll receive a Confirmation of Permanent Residence, or COPAR. This is the final piece of the puzzle, the document that confirms your new status as a permanent resident of Alberta. Remember, the journey doesn't end here. Even after becoming a permanent resident, there are certain responsibilities you'll need to fulfill to maintain your status, but that's a topic for another day. That completes the application process, but what happens next? You'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned for the next part of our guide where we'll discuss what to expect after submitting your application. So, you have submitted your application, what can you expect now? Well, after you've successfully sent off your application for the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program, you've reached a period of anticipation. Here's what happens next. The process from here on is largely a waiting game. Your application will go through a rigorous review by the immigration authorities and this can take a few months. While the exact processing time can vary depending on a host of factors, it's a good idea to prepare for a wait of around six months. Remember, immigration authorities are dealing with a large volume of applications and each one requires careful scrutiny. Now, let's talk about possible outcomes. There are primarily two, approval or rejection. If your application is approved, congratulations. You're one step closer to your dream. You'll receive a confirmation and further instructions on the next steps you need to take. On the other hand, if your application is not successful, don't lose heart. You'll receive a notification explaining the reasons for the decision. This can provide valuable insight if you choose to reapply in the future. Note that there's always the option to appeal against the decision if you believe there has been an error. While waiting for a response can be nerve-wracking, patience is key in this process. Remember, good things come to those who wait. So, hold tight and keep your eyes on the prize. Let's recap what we've learned today. The Alberta Advantage Immigration Program is a golden pathway for those seeking to make Alberta their new home. It's designed to meet the province's unique economic needs and to welcome immigrants who can contribute positively to the local communities. First off, we talked about the eligibility criteria. Remember, you must meet certain requirements, such as having a job offer in Alberta, demonstrating language proficiency in either English or French, and showing that you have the skills and qualifications required for your job. Next, we delved into the process of applying. We walked through it step by step, from creating an online profile to submitting your application. We highlighted the importance of providing accurate information and ensuring that you have all the necessary documents ready. We also discussed what happens after you've submitted your application. There's a period of waiting during which your application will be assessed, but don't worry, you'll be updated regularly on the status of your application. Finally, we talked about the significance of the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. It's not just about filling up job vacancies. It's about building vibrant communities, nurturing cultural diversity, and creating a better future for all residents of Alberta. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. Good luck with your immigration journey!